so in the previous videos we have uh, looked at uh, the budget the government budget and we have looked at the components of revenue budget and capital budget and we have understood what is revenue receipts revenue expenditure capital receipts capital expenditure they are all important concepts from the prelims point of view because questions keep coming from it please make sure you understand that properly we are going to continue with budget now and in this video we are going to be looking at classification of budgets and understanding deficits okay so when the receipts and expenditures of the government are equal then it is known as a balanced budget so what is a balanced budget balanced budget means receipts are equal to expenditure for example if let's say my receipts are receipts are 5 lakh crores then my expenditure is also 5 lakh crores in such a case it becomes a balanced budget we have another budget called the surplus budget when the receipts are higher than the expenditure of the government then it is known as a surplus budget for example if my receipts are 6 lakh crore and i spend only 5 lakh crore then i have a surplus right i have a surplus i have some savings then that is known as a surplus budget so what is a deficit budget when the expenditure is higher than the receipts of the government then it is known as deficit budget if my receipts is only 5 lakh crore and i spend 6 lakh crore then it becomes a deficit budget okay it's very simple balanced budget surplus budget deficit budget now usually all government function all governments function on a deficit budget okay all governments function on a deficit budget why the reason will be explained later we will discuss this in fact it all goes back to keynesian economics in one way but you must know that all governments function on a deficit budget or they try to function on a deficit budget now the difference between the expenditure of the government and its receipts for a particular financial year is known as fiscal deficit so we know that deficit means there is a difference okay between what is the receipts and what is the expenditure the receipts are lower the expenditure is higher so we have a deficit okay we have to cover this deficit when we look at this deficit for a particular financial year in a budget then that becomes fiscal deficit because fiscal means for that particular financial year okay fiscal means for that particular financial year so the difference between the expenditure of the government and its receipts for a particular financial year is known as fiscal deficit it's a very simple definition okay fiscal deficit is the difference for that particular financial year that is why you have the word fiscal the next term that we are going to look at is revenue deficit i think by now you can guess how to define revenue deficit revenue deficit means it is the difference between revenue expenditure and revenue receipts in this case the revenue expenditure is greater than revenue receipts in such a case you have a revenue deficit so revenue deficit is equal to revenue expenditure minus revenue receipts the revenue deficit in india has generally been around 2 to 1/2% okay but revenue expenditure uh, but revenue deficits are not desired what you want is a capital deficit okay you want a capital deficit we don't want a revenue deficit okay revenue deficits are bad for the economy why we will look at that now okay revenue deficits are bad for the economy because revenue expenditure is mainly concerned with the day to day expenses of the government payment of salaries and pensions etc i repeat revenue expenditure is mainly concerned with the day to day expenses of the government payment of salaries pensions etc if the revenue expenditure is greater than the revenue receipts it means the government needs to start spending lesser on such day to day activities having a bigger revenue deficit is harmful to the economy and it is fiscally irresponsible when there is a revenue deficit it means that the government is using up the savings from the other sectors of the economy to finance a part of its expenditure right all deficits this is something that everybody has to understand every student of economics has to understand that all deficits have to be 
serviced from somewhere right if there is a deficit money has to come from somewhere and that deficit has to be leveled i think this much everybody agrees now if let's say uh, there is a lot of uh, revenue deficit now this deficit has to be adjusted from somewhere then the money that had to be spent for capital expenditure that is in creating roads or in creating big buildings it tech parks you are going to take that money and you are going to start doing revenue expenditure and this will start affecting the growth of the country so this is what you have to understand deficits have to be serviced somehow so if one sector is creating a deficit some other sector of the economy has to come and service this deficit it's not magically going to go away right so borrowing money to finance capital expenditure is acceptable however borrowing it to finance consumption expenditure or revenue expenditure is not fiscally responsible let's take example from our own daily life you have a credit card and uh, you like eating outside and you like partying now let's say your salary is 50000 rupees but for you to go out party and be happy buy a a car and travel around in luxury you are spending 1 and 1/2 lakh rupees a month that means your uh, receipts or your income is only 50000 and your expenses is 1 lakh 50000 there is a deficit of 1 lakh on your credit card maybe because how else are you going to get the money so you have 1 lakh credit card debt is that good no that debt is very bad because that is uh, a debt that has come due to consumption but now let's say you are fiscally responsible and you have taken you have saved up 15 20 lakhs and you have bought a flat for 50 lakhs and you have taken 30 lakh rupees loan and then you start paying a loan that is a good loan that is a good deficit to have that is a capital deficit because you are creating an asset so capital expenditure is always uh, good for the economy but if uh, there is a revenue deficit that is very bad for the economy okay so if you have a great amount of revenue deficit then it will lead to unsustainable debts and interest liabilities for the government this will force the government to cut capital expenditure which in turn will affect the growth of the economy revenue expenditure has to be planned well beforehand as it is committed expenditure the salaries and pensions of the government servants utilities bills day to day functioning etc none of these items can be avoided easily so whenever you are taking up a revenue expense you have to be very very clear that yes we can manage it for the years to come as well it is not only for that particular year you have to plan that it is going to be sustainable in the future so revenue expenditure is very dangerous so it has to be planned very well beforehand because all of these are committed expenditures so it is hence vastly desirable that the government plans its revenue expenditure well so that there is no revenue deficit on the other hand capital deficit is good for the economy it would mean that the government is borrowing to finance asset creation or asset creating infrastructure okay this would mean that the government is borrowing to finance asset creating infrastructure this is similar to the example that i gave how you take a loan to buy a house a house is a asset so you can have a loan to buy an asset but you should not have a loan to party or to roam around right this is the difference hence we want a fiscal deficit but that deficit should be a capital deficit and not a revenue deficit so this is about Uh, the different kinds of deficits we have right we have revenue deficit we have capital deficit we have budget deficit we have fiscal deficit everything is very similar you don't have to worry now we have also understood what a fiscal deficit is if the total expenditure of the government is greater than its receipt for a particular financial year then we call it fiscal deficit so these are the different definitions everything is very simple if you just understand the basics that were taught in the previous videos right So this concludes this video we'll continue in the next video thank you